Hello, welcome back guys in my channel. Uh, today's video is about a shoe comparison using new analytics uh, uh, and inside uh, from uh, the new Stride Duo and uh, the footpath uh, 3D visualization feature. In particular, I'm gonna compare two shoes you guys voted last week. Uh, so they are the Zero, Boston 12 and uh, Adios 8. Uh, by the way, thank you for voting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the feeling is pretty different. I expect uh, different results. If the video will reach at least uh, 100 likes, uh, then I understand uh, that you like it and uh, I will repeat the test uh, for the Duramo uh, Speed and uh, Adi Zero S. So you know what to do next. Before to start, for those of you who are new uh, about the stride pod, it is a sensor that you put on your shoe and uh, it tracks all the uh, running dynamics, uh, like for instance the ground contact time, the uh, vertical oscillation, which give you insights about uh, your training, uh, but uh, also the shoe itself, uh, how much responsive or efficient uh, a shoe is in comparison to other shoes. Recently Stride released uh, the new Stride Duo, so you put two sensors, one uh, per foot, and um, to track other dynamics and uh, even uh, your running technique uh, using a 3D visualization of your uh, feet path. Stride provided some examples as well uh, of possible use cases uh, for the Stride Duo. Here they are, but for today's video I'll pick uh, the footwear use case, uh, uh, so the number four, we're gonna check the other use cases in the next video if you are in, interested and if you want to understand more how to use better the new Stride Duo. And it is also important to know that I'm going to update the free ebook uh, with this new cool visualization. In this ebook, uh, which you can download uh, in the link down below, you can find all the shoes uh, I tested recently and uh, all the results. So basically for testing the shoes, uh, I run uh, seven repeats uh, at seven different paces. As you can see in this table, these are the usual paces uh, uh, for my test. So uh, from five minutes per kilometer till uh, uh, three minutes, uh, 20 seconds per kilometer. And now pace by pace, we will check the results uh, till the conclusion. So stay with me till the end of the video because uh, the results are uh, pretty interesting. So let's start from the slower repeat uh, uh, at five minutes per kilometer uh, pace. Uh, important to notice is that the audio set is the dashed line and uh, the Boston 12 is the solid one. And we have two lines, one for the right foot and one for the uh, left foot. So again, audio set, dashed line, uh, Boston 12, solid one. As you can see from the data, the leg stiffness, higher values are better running economy, is 6.8 for the Boston 12 and 16 in the audio set. So it looks like the Boston 12 is better in terms of running economy, uh, having a, a pretty similar response, uh, ground contact time, uh, but an higher vertical oscillation. So as we can see, the kickback is much higher and uh, it seems like the Boston 12 supports better uh, the rolling motion and the running uh, technique. Even checking the impact loading rate, uh, so basically the mechanical load of the lower body, lower numbers mean less uh, stress, the Boston 12 looks uh, more efficient. So I would say at five minutes per kilometer pace, the Boston 12 wins. Moving on to the 4 minute 30 second per kilometer pace, the audio set is more responsive uh, but still not efficient uh, as the, the Boston 12. The Boston 12 is still helping more with the rolling motion uh, as we can see looking at the vertical oscillation and the, the height of the kickback in the 3D visualization uh, which we can even notice uh, from the footage uh, as well. So even in this case and for this pace, uh, in my opinion, Boston 12 uh, wins. Moving on to the test at uh, 4 minutes 15 seconds per kilometer. The other state is still more responsive, of course, but uh, it costs still more in terms of running stress. Uh, so it is not efficient as the Boston 12. The Boston 12 is also helping uh, more with the rolling motion, looking at the vertical oscillation and um, the height of the kickback in the 3D visualization, but not that much difference like in the previous test. Uh, so something is happening. Uh, the other state kickback uh, is closer to the Boston 12 in this case. So it means that the audio set at fastest 
uh, basis uh, becomes more efficient uh, uh, as we can see from the uh, footage as well. So let's say at this pace uh, they are equivalent. Moving on to the 4 minute uh, uh, per kilometer pace, checking the data we can quickly uh, understand that uh, we are exactly in the same situation as before. So they are equivalent uh, even if for the long runs I believe the Boston 12 is better because the other say causes more stress to the lower body considering the higher uh, impact uh, loading rate. Moving on to the really fast pace, at least for me guys, 3 minutes 40 seconds uh, per kilometer. Looking at the data, exactly the same situation as the previous test, but in this test we can uh, notice that uh, for the first time the kickback of the audio set is higher uh, than the um, kickback uh, of the Boston 12, uh, which means pretty much more responsive and it helps better uh, to the rolling motion looking at uh, the 3D visualization at my feeling and uh, at the footage as well. So at this pace the audio set wins, uh, but um, for short medium distances uh, considering the high stress. Moving on to the 3 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer, exactly the same situation as the uh, previous test, the audio set uh, wins, but for short and medium distances, uh, so we have still an higher kickback uh, for the audio set, but uh, higher stress as well. And finally, the last repeat at the 3 minutes 20 seconds per kilometer pace, we can notice again how much more responsive is the uh, audio set and uh, how better allows the rolling motion and uh, the running technique, but still uh, with an higher stress and um, less economy uh, than the Boston 12. So in conclusion, we can say that uh, for long runs uh, and uh, for slower paces uh, uh, till uh, 4 minutes per kilometer, uh, the Boston 12 is the shoe uh, to pick. Um, so if you have a long run uh, or a long tempo run, uh, then definitely the Boston 12 uh, is the right shoe. For faster paces uh, and uh, for short distances, uh, I would instead easily pick the audio set because uh, it is definitely more responsive, but uh, with an higher uh, running stress, not ideal for long distances. This is pretty much a confirmation of what I have noticed already reading through the old running dynamics but much more intuitive uh, uh, using this new feature uh, from stride i really appreciate it uh, how fast you can get these insights uh, from the 3d visualization and uh, as i said i will include it in my test i hope guys this video was helpful and uh, it answered um, some of your questions uh, uh, if you have still some questions please raise your questions uh, in the uh, comments down below and uh, don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Your support for the work done, it is uh, for free and uh, pretty much appreciated. As always, thank you for watching. Until the next time, keep running. And finally, the last repeat at 3 minutes, uh, uh, 20 seconds per minute. Uh,